Hello and welcome to this YouTube tutorial on how to play the two solos from the song I'm Your Man by Richard Hell and the Boy Doids. Uh, there's two solos to this song, so let's hear me playing the first solo. first solo is he's actually following the chords quite closely. The chords of the song are D flat minor, A flat, D flat minor, A flat, D flat minor, A, E, D, A flat. That's the first section of the solo is over those chords. So the first phrase is Pretty simple, that's the 4th fret on the 1st string to the 5th fret on the 2nd string. And those are actually the 5th and 3rd of the 1st chord. The 2nd phrase is on the 2nd chord, A flat, and it sounds like this. So that's the 4th fret on the 2nd string, 5th fret on the 3rd string back up to the 4th fret on the 2nd string, down to the 6th fret on the 4th string. And that's actually the 5th, 3rd and root of the 2nd chord. And then, you're going to play the first phrase again, but you're going to prefigure it with the root of the chord, which is the 6th fret on the 3rd string. probably going to slide into that. And then you're going to play the second phrase again, except this time you won't double back on yourself. It's just la la la. Now, as we go into the third chord, we've got the third phrase sliding into the sixth fret on the third string, then a hammer from the sixth fret on the fourth string to the seventh fret. And this is actually the third of the chord, and then hammering into the root of the chord, we're on A. And then, staying on this A chord, the next phrase is... Which, as you can see, he's just outlining this A bar chord. So that sounds like... And uh, if you want the frets, that's the fifth fret on the first string. 5th fret on the 2nd string, 6th on the 3rd string, and 7th on the 4th string. So the next phrase is... And that's over an E. So that is simply open 1st string, then the 5th fret on the 1st string, pull off 4th fret, and then twice on the 5th fret on the 2nd string. So the next phrase straight after that is... Which now we're on this, um, this A flat chord is actually the... You're playing the 5th, uh, 4th, 3rd root. The frets for that are... 6th uh, fret on the 3rd string, bend it, and back down, and the 5th fret on that 3rd string, then the 6th fret on the 4th string. And now we're into the 2nd section of the solo. The chords for this section are a bit different, the guitar is going... starting again on D flat minor. So Robert Quine at this point he's playing some very Ike Turner 
Chuck Berry kind of blues riffs. So on the first chord, he's doing a sort of blues uh, fifth, seventh root lick. That's uh, the sixth fret on the fourth string up to the fourth fret on the third string up to the sixth fret on the third string. And you probably want to slide into that first note. And it sounds like he's doing a bend on the last note. So you might actually play the fifth fret for that and bend it up so that it sounds like that, that D flat. And then the next phrase. another very Chuck Berry kind of riff but um, that's the fifth fret on the second string followed by the seventh fret on the second string except you're going to bend it a really long way so it's going to sound like it's actually going to sound like this ninth fret song so that's going to sound like this bend back down fifth and then the sixth fret on the third string down to the 4th fret on that 3rd string and now there's quite a long uh, blues rundown, uh, minor pentatonic rundown on the D flat minor so that is going to be note by note 6th fret 3rd string, 4th fret 3rd string, 6th fret 4th string, 5th fret, 4th string, 4th fret, 4th string, 7th fret, 5th string, you're going to double back up to the 4th fret on the 4th fret on the 4th string, back down again to the 7th fret on the 5th string, down to the 4th fret on the 5th string, and then bending the 2nd fret on the 1st string, first string and releasing for that E and then jump right up here to the 12th fret on the first string down to the 11th fret so slowly that's so how about we go through the whole thing now that's First phrase is rest. La 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 la. Same phrase again, except with the slide in. Same phrase again, just simpler. Slide up, outlining the chord. Open first string, pull off. Fifth string on that second. Fifth fret on that second string. Down to the sixth fret on the third string. Bend it. Down to the A flat note. And down to the second section with the blues riff. that run down la, 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 la. La, 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 la 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 so that's the first solo slow to play that up to speed but maybe you won't be. Right let's do the second solo now. So 
the second solo is a bit different to the first solo. There's a lot less melodic. La, 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 la. It's all very dirty, bluesy, Mark rebo y kind of riffs. Um, so the first phrase. So he's, he's, he's still playing around D flat minor here. But the first thing he's playing is, uh, I guess it's a triple stop. It's D flat. And there's the flat fifth of that chord, which is the fifth fret on the fourth string. And then there's the uh, seventh of that chord, which is the fourth fret on the third string. And he's pulling off the flat fifth. He's pulling off, that's my middle finger, he's pulling off the fifth fret of the fourth string down to the uh, fourth fret, so, and then there's another stop, this one I, I suppose it's a double stop, it's the seventh fret on the fifth string, that's an E, and then there's the octave of our root, that's the sixth fret on the third string, so, And then up to this really high, messed up sounding bent double stop up here. Which, as far as I can tell, is the seventh fret on the first string. And the uh, eighth fret on the second string. Except he's bending those, so. So that's gonna sound more like, that note's gonna sound like this note, you know? So that's. And then repeat that first phrase, that first pull off, add. And then instead of the double stop up there, he's just playing the E note, the seventh fret on the fifth string. But he's, you know, bending a little, so it sounds kind of weird. And then exact same as the first phrase. So he's doing that first phrase three times, but resolving it differently. So the next phrase is a quite fast rundown, uh, which I'll play now. So that's starting at the fourth fret on the first string. And you're going to pull that off to the second fret and then pull that off to the open string. La, la, la. Second string, la 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 la, back up to the open first string, la 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 la, back to the second fret on the second string, down to the fourth fret on the third string, la 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 la, and then next phrase, first fret, first fret on the third string. 4th fret on the 4th string, 1st fret on the 4th string, and then 1st fret on the 3rd string, again, 2nd fret on the 4th string, and 1st fret on the 4th string again. So all together that's la 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 phrase is going to start with 4th fret on the 5th string. And now keeping your finger there, you're going to add your 2nd finger onto the 5th fret on the 4th string. So, and you're going to double stop those. Then you're going to add your 3rd finger onto the fret above that. Another double stop. Now, using your 1st finger to bar across to the third string, another double stop, that's two fourth frets, so that's, and 
then the next note is the 6th fret on the 3rd string and then the 4th fret hammer on to the 5th fret and bend but not very far so that sounds like now it would sound a lot cleaner if he actually bent it up further up to this note but he doesn't so it's and a bit of a vibrato on there to make it sound all weird. So together that. And then the last phrase is a walk up on the sixth string. So that's open second fourth right up to the ninth. And you want to go ninth, seventh, pull off. So that phrase is. And then. Similar ending to the first solo. That's the seventh fret on the fifth string, fourth fret on the fourth string, fifth, sixth, next string. 3rd string, 4th fret, 5th fret, 6th fret, and then 6th fret on the 4th string. So you get all that? That's, uh, let's do that again, right from the beginning. So that's this phrase, pull off, bad, double stop. Double stops, fourth fret, add the fifth fret, add the sixth fret, bar double stop, sixth fret on the first string, la, la, hammer on and bend, and now the walk up on the sixth string, da, 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 up to here and pull off, and then this fast chromatic walk. that's everything hopefully uh, if you need any help just ask in the comments thank you <laughs>